So yesterday it was reported that Techno collapsed on stage in South Africa while on tour. But hopefully it wasn't our old Techno. It was one guy from Kenya and his name is uh, Prizo. I don't know if you guys know of Prizo. He's a Kenya rapper in South Africa that collapsed. But I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. But I'm so, 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 so happy it wasn't Techno. Because yesterday everybody was was going crazy over that news but techno immediately came out to say hey guys i am hale and hearty and not currently in south africa i hope whoever that was in the video is doing well okay thank you guys love you okay i'm so happy he didn't turn that into an insult because if not some artists they will say god punish you now me you they wish dead on God punish you. I mean, they thought it collapse. But then again, he saw where people were coming from. The love. They were coming from the lovely part of, okay, this one I want to know. We need to really, really safeguard them. And you know, we are techno. They say apparently techno. They're in South Africa. South Africa may not like Nigeria matter. You know, even yesterday I was pleading. Already pleading to South Africa. Say I beg. You know, I don't say that techno in Nigeria. I will not say Nigeria and South Africa get beef. I beg. No carry that beef and that techno body. That was my plea yesterday now. That was what I was even main concern on. Say, you won't go collapse. You know collapse for any other country. You can't go collapse for South Africa. That was what my head was just going. For South Africa, now you can't go collapse for. <laughs> but thank God it wasn't our techno. Uh, yesterday, said, after I did that video, I also make a call and you guys witness it. The person tell me it was a techno. But the news around uh, uh, Africa yesterday was techno collapse. Techno collapse. But the video, I hope whoever collapsed, be it Prizo, I hope he's okay, he's doing fine. And we need to hear uh, good news from uh, Prizo to know if he's doing well so that we can send solidarity from it. So moving forward, I beg, if you be Nigeria artist, no enter problem for South Africa. In fact, no enter problem for South Africa and Uganda. Abi, South Africa and Uganda. There's this other country made they like arrest Nigeria artists when we. I'm gonna try more now. No enter problem for like that kind of country. So guys, I let's move forward. Let's talk about a uh, Buju bad song. Recently revealed that is from Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, but an Igbo man. Well, if you are an Igbo man. They don't understand why you are criticizing Afrobeat. Because recently, nobody criticized Afrobeat past Buju. But firstly, let like here when he said, he's an Igbo man. Our indigenous life and our indigenous way of life and our lands are being threatened by the current government administration of Jamaica, who seek to bring Chinese and other nationalities into the cockpit region, which is an indigenous secret region, to usurp us, the Maroons, as the warriors. So, a Maroon, Maroon, no, Maroon, Maroon are some of the indigenous warriors on my island. We fought the British relentlessly. Those are the Moors? Maroons are from, we are called Black Amours, but my generation originated from Nigeria. I'm, I'm mm. an Igbo man, according to my bloodline. So, Maroons are warriors in Jamaica. So, and their origination from Igbo land, Nigeria. So, it's good to know that Igbo are everywhere. That's why, that is what they said, that if you go to any place, I will not find Igbo man there. Run from that place. In fact, it was Ibu reported that two Ibu guys were arrested in Haiti. Haiti that is currently at war. Two Ibu guys were arrested there for faking uh, Haiti passport. <laughs> Haiti be like say they they war. <laughs> Hope uh, uh, Ibu DSF is not safe. Nigeria is far more safer than that place. But Ibu Ma did it. Nigerians are there. Try to survive. Uh... <laughs> you see, if an Ibu Ma come to a place, eh, honestly, to a barren land, eh, if you are Ibu Ma, stand for a barren land. Ibu Ma, they see potentials. But you just they see wilderness. 
That is different. If an Igbo might see potential, an ordinary Nigerian might see wilderness. No, nothing to remove from that land, but an Igbo man knew exactly and how to turn this around for him to read from it. Well, big up to all Igbos, man. Big up to all Igbos, man. But let's go back to Buju. Buju claimed to be an Igbo man and yet criticized Afrobeat. And Afrobeat said, uh, people don't they come off for Afrobeat. No be only Buju. Yeah, no be only Buju. Buju criticized Afrobeat, but Afrobeat himself. People are tired of it. So what do Afrobeat do Nigeria artists? Let me ask you, because I've, I've been watching and watching and watching. You said something that was very interesting. You said Afrobeats mm -hmm. gives, gives props back to, to, to reggae, to dance hall. Do they? <laughs> I thought I, I heard you so. say that. I don't think they do. No, I never said that. I oh, said they don't I thought, give fucking props back to dance hall oh, and reggae. Oh, my bad. I heard it wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you really dyslexic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 my mm -hmm. bad. I thought I heard it, heard it the other way around. But then I, then I heard you say, because I heard you say Afrobeats. I thought I heard you say that. Mm -hmm. Afrobeats, like, you know, pay The homage. greatest musician out of Africa was Fela Kute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fela Kute. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucky Dube from South Africa. We had Salif Keita. We have Yusu Endor. We have Baba Mal. Now, no one wanted to go beyond the pale of what those brothers was doing. I went to Africa in 1991 and I spent like three weeks constantly at the universities in under Boabab trees. In Kenya? That's educating it. people from Ghana, right. all over the continent about reggae music and dancehall. But I was happy when they came to their senses to realize that music is the, the bridge that's going to connect us. But what I was disappointed in, they didn't try to connect with Jamaica the roots. They connect with everyone else mm. except us. Uh, and you talking about Afrobeats? Yes. Okay, okay, continue. I'm sorry. So they connected with everyone else except us. But when we look at what they're doing, their music is not free in Africa. It's far cray. <laughs> I didn't know what the to music say. needs to free Africa. If I am all the way in Jamaica and my and my country and my people fight for free your continent with words, sound, and power, and you have the ability now, and all you're singing is for free. You don't sing a song to free Africa all now. Mm. Well, you need them bringing this to the forefront of your mind, but we desire more from them. Ooh, you want man. the money? Go get it. But what's going to be said about you later on? And yeah. your posterity. You didn't make any impact. So, reggae music still stands predominant. It is still the king's music. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now I totally understand where it's coming from. You understand? You should listen to his explanation. He said, let me just clear it for you guys. He said, he went to reggae music taught Africans. Hmm? Africans how to be liberated. Taught African the connection between themselves. But the crazy part is that Afrobeat, when they finally became popular, Afrobeat never sought it out to reconnect with the roots in Jamaica. But they were going to every other country to reconnect with, uh, with, uh, with other countries. That don't really give a damn about the real music that speaks inspiration. So, it's all about money, 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 money for Afrobeat. But reggae music is about liberation. And if you check, it's honestly, he's saying the honest truth. Now I really get where he is coming from. If they talk the honest truth, because check it out, man, what are we doing here? Afrobeat is about the best good sound, the best good music, the best good sound that's going to blow the world going. And I, I, I honestly understand that. I honestly understand that it's for the money. If you are singing, you are not making money and singing and by inspiration, you are doing yourself. Go and hack the Amajek for share. How they went broke later. I understand. I understand very, very well. But then again, you still have to come to the root. According to Buju, that's why he doesn't have any single respect. But we have the likes of Whiskey, who has always tried as much as possible to 
same music base of his art, you know. And so many other musicians, but I know many Afrobeat musicians, eh, the way they look for it and the next beat it, nothing more. They don't they look for any other thing, you know. If you talk any other thing, you are talking rubbish. Now the next big thing that they look for, they don't look for any other ish you are talking about. Hmm? So, but uh, Buju, eh, take it easy on Afrobeat, man. It's just that uh, profit is way more important now. If you sing, ah, if you sing, blah, 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 and no money, you won't call. How can you survive? How can you sustain your family? You know, that is one of all those things. People do not care about uh, substance anymore. They care about survival because of the economy. The economy of the world is all about survival, 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 survival. So you won't blame those Afrobeat artists. You understand? You won't blame them. Hmm? Most especially, Bonner Boy that is trying. Bonner Boy is absolutely trying. Absolutely. I'm going to give it up to Bonner Boy because of the inspirational music. Most especially the one that sounds during. Not that I know during the answers I be. Yes, now. And all this music so far, if you check. It's way more inspirational than most Afrobeat artists now because they always think about the women, boom, 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 crazy stuff, and I will say, uh, Bonner Boy first whiskey that I respect secondly when it comes to some 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 certain songs like uh, whiskey, uh, love. Well, well, well. That being said, and uh, even talking about Bonner Boy, you know how he even started, uh, Bonner Boy who. Who, who, who was at uh, one time banned from coming to UK. Just imagine, one time banned from coming to UK. Now became the most biggest selling Africa artist in UK. Banned from UK, now become the biggest selling Africa artists in UK. Can you make that make sense? Huh? A big up to Bonner Boy and uh, every other Afrobeat artist. Well, Buju, take it easy on us, man. Mm -hmm. We respect you over here. Ibo man. So thank you guys for watching, boy. Uh, again, Adam Sling. Catch you next time. Peace.